Hello, in this lesson we'll be looking at the topic of family and friends which is part of module one and looking at key details in terms of talking about the relationships uh, between family and friends, for example arguing and looking after each other and also looking at emphatic pronouns as part of our grammatical part. For this lesson you will need a pen and a paper and a timer. So here we have the key reflexive verbs, they're reflexive because of that s before them you can see that they're all in the infinitive form because they are either ending er, re, and even though there aren't any ir verbs, they're also count as infinitives. I advise you to make a note of these reflexive verbs and practice with the definitions. And these are the emphatic pronouns. These go after the reflexive verbs. For example, when you want to talk about who you are using as a designated person. For example, you could talk about with me, or with you, or with him, or her. Please pay attention to the prefixes. For example, with when talking about me, as in moi, you use avec. Whereas when you're talking about us, which is new, you say a. Here we have a text. This is in more detail on the next slide, or slide six if you're looking at the PowerPoint. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to read the text. It's about four people who are part of a very famous French uh, soap, kind of like EastEnders. I would like you to read the text and find at least five adjectives used to describe someone and note them in French and English. I would like you then to find the nine phrases in the orange outline box. So you need to write the English out and then write the French out next to it. And then finally you can choose whether you translate either Priscilla or Michelle's text into English. Give yourselves around seven to eight minutes. Good luck. Again, working with the same text, I would like you then to look at the statements in the green box, which are in French, and I want you to tell me who said that. So all you need to do is write down the number of the phrase and the name of the person. I will then like you to look at the orange box at the bottom of this slide and talk about yourself. So you need to work out the phrases and then add in people or adjectives or whatever details you need to apply according to the gap. And then finally, I would like you to translate that phrase in the red outline box into French. Remember your techniques such as breaking it up into small parts and doing the bits that you can do first and then filling in the gaps with educated guesses if you don't know what the word or phrase is. Give yourself 10 minutes to complete these three tasks. We're going to continue with the family aspect and this time we're going to look at the Simpsons. So in terms of your text, it's on the previous slide, slide 7, which is in the PowerPoint, or you can just scroll back on the video. What you need to do is start with the green box. So you need to write out the phrase and discuss whether it is true or false according to the text. You then need to look at the orange box and find those phrases to write out the English and then equals and the French. I would then like you to find any use of a negative structure. So for example, with n in it and translate them. And then finally, I would like to think of your own type of TV show and think of descriptions about those characters. Give yourselves 10 minutes to complete this task. Good luck. For your final task, I would like you to invent a new family for a soap of your choice or a brand new soap or TV show. For this, you must have three members of the family and describe them. I want you to describe them physically and personally using previously learned language, but also describe their relationships between others and other people. So you'll need to include the reflexive verbs that we've been looking at previously, the different subject pronouns and emphatic pronouns, and then try to challenge yourself by using emphatic pronouns possessive adjectives and even incorporating different tenses, for example, how they used to get on with other people. Use the text from the Said La Famille and The Simpsons to help you with set structures and this should take you around 10 to 15 minutes. Good luck. You can also use the vocab on the next slide or slide 10 if you're looking at the PowerPoint to provide you with some sentence starters and a small writing frame. After this, you, this is the end of the lesson, so please make sure you've uploaded all your work onto class charts Thank you. The next slide will show you what you should have uploaded.